Okay, so um, we've, we've hit one uh, form of a loop, uh, the while loop. I'm going to introduce another loop. This came in later in PHP, although it's available in others. There's, there's basically three types of loops that are available in many functional programming languages. The for loop, the while loop, and the um, do until loop. Uh, and uh, you can use all of them in various ways, but there's another one that's called the for reach, which is not in all languages, but just a very useful way of going through arrays. You'll remember there's a variable type called an array. So I've changed the form in loop a little bit so that you can choose multiple items um, using the control key. Um, just to remind you, this is what this looks like. It's a, a select function with options. Um, and I've used the function multiple, which allows you to do multiple items. Note here that the name is invitees and it has this, these little brackets on the name. That allows it to know that when we send it as a post, we want it to go in as a list. And so it's useful for something like this because it'll go in as an array. And so it'll send this in the, um, you know, our variable name is going to be invitees and there will be multiple things in that list or there could just be one or there could be zero, right? Um, so what do we do with that when it comes in the other end? Well, rather than using while in this case, we're going to use uh, something called the for each, um, as I said. And in this case, we say for each and we say which variable we're going to be using. In this case, it's called invitees, right? And we say for each of the things in the invitees, put it in as X. So what this is going to do is each time it goes through the loop, X is going to be the next item in that array. And then we're just going to echo X. Um, actually, let's do something a little bit different. Let's go up here and we'll make it an, um, an unordered list and we'll in for each of the items in there we'll make it we'll echo um, a list item tag and then we'll echo a the X the item the name of the item and then we'll um, well we don't need to do a close but we will we'll do a close list item and so each time it goes through, it's going to do, um, it's going to print a list item with an X in between it, right? So we can, oh, we should put in a, a quick, um, well, this sucks, but we'll do this really quick. Um, we need to hop out of PHP long enough to do a quick end of the UL. And then we'll go back, whoops, end of the UL, and then we'll go back into PHP. All right. So I'm going to save this, file save, and then I'll upload it. Just a second. Uh, there it is. And we'll say yes, we want to overwrite it. And um, so now I can refresh this real quick. Actually, oops. Let's see what it says. It says there's an unexpected semicolon on line 20. Let's take a look at our line 20. Now, often when it says that, it's actually saying that there's something unexpected in the line above it. and But here we can see pretty quickly that that's what it means, is that it really had an extra little bit there. File save. Unfortunately, we now have to upload it again. Upload. Overwrite. This really should be whom shall I invite, but that's okay. I don't think it'll stop us for that. All right, so I'm going to do Alex... Roseanne and Tom. I'll hit go and it puts it in a nice unordered list for me. So it goes through and for each one of those it does X is this one first, then this one, then this one and prints that out. Very useful especially for arrays and you'll see later on why we need to be especially careful and be able to create um, uh, outputs from arrays.